Uh, my name is Farhod Eshmato. Uh, uh, I'm a head of the Applied Mathematics Department. Uh, okay, let me just briefly introduce myself. So, uh, I got my uh, bachelor degree from National University of Uzbekistan. Then uh, I got my master's degree from State University of New York at Binghamton. Uh, this was uh, in 98 to 2000. And after that, I uh, went to Cornell University and I got my PhD in 2007. Uh, afterward, I worked as an assistant professor at the University of Michigan for four years. Uh, and after that, I worked uh, almost 10 years in uh, China, Sichuan University. So uh, this year, uh, we are opening a new department, Department of Applied Mathematics. Uh, and this is not just Applied Mathematics, so it will be not just Applied Mathematics, but it will be also uh, some courses in Pure Mathematics. So in general, we, we can call this a Department of Mathematics but with a stress on applied mathematics. Uh, well, uh, so actually, before actually advertising uh, our department, I want to just uh, tell you some, some of the uh, things which happening recently in, in the world. So uh, all of you know that uh, there's been a huge, um, I would say, revolution in, in uh, artificial intelligence recently. And this revolution actually uh, contributes, or will contribute, to the, to, to the life of, of many people. And many of uh, experts nowadays compare this, this revolution with industrial revolution, in the sense that uh, this will actually make a such huge impact on the, our life that it will be as, as important as industrial revolution. So if you remember industrial revolution, like the structure of the life, like completely the, 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 how we view the uh, simple things in the life changed considerably. And these things will also happen after the, uh, uh, artificial intelligence revolution. And uh, what is artificial intelligence? I mean, of course, I'm not a big expert, but what I know about artificial intelligence is that almost 90% of uh, things which is in artificial intelligence is actually about uh, things which are related to pure mathematics and applied mathematics. So uh, to be really precise, right? So for instance, uh, things which uh, is in uh, mathematical part of the artificial intelligence, uh, involved things like mathematical analysis, linear algebra, discrete mathematics, uh, uh, probability statistics, function analysis, and recently also topology and geometry. And uh, to be more precise, for example, uh, we will mention about mathematical analysis. This will be something which we will cover in the first year of our university. Discrete mathematics and uh, probability theory will be covered in the second year of uh, our studies. Uh, third year we will cover uh, some uh, basics of function analysis and in the fourth year we'll cover uh, geometry and topology so so you can see that our program is designed right is designed in such a way that it has a big use right for the for the uh, you know for, for learning artificial intelligence in general uh, so as I, as I mentioned before i i taught both in us and in china uh, so and i know very well that the program uh, both undergraduate program and graduate program in those uh, places uh, I can tell you that the program which we are designing right now for applied mathematics will be actually matching to the uh, programs in the top U.S. universities and top Chinese universities. So I can assure you that the programs and the curriculum which uh, will be in this department will match those top universities. And secondly, which I, th I found more important is that right now we're in the process of hiring uh, uh, new faculties to our department and many of them will be people who actually got their PhDs, uh, bachelors from, from top U.S. universities and top uh, European and Chinese universities. First of all, of course, as, as you mentioned, uh, doing research will be one of our priorities. And so we're hoping that uh, our students, right, in the future will be, uh, uh, you know, working in like, you know, advanced uh, U.S., European, Chinese university doing research in mathematics or in uh, pure applied mathematics. But certainly there will be some other, right? I mean, certainly there are some other passes. For example, in, in the industry, right? Where I just mentioned about artificial intelligence, right? So uh, in the industry, I would say that, uh, you know, it's not gonna be just, you know, the industries which involves, you know, something which is very straightforward, like actuarial uh, companies or like financial companies, but even things like, you know, biomedical engineering, right? Or even medicine, right? So I know from my experience in the past that uh, students who graduated from the uh, U.S. University with bachelor degree in mathematics, right? Later on, pursued degree in the in the in medicine, right? And 
fields which seems to be completely orthogonal, completely different from the from the uh, mathematics, right? And in my opinion, that's that's not something which is unusual, right? In, in my opinion, that the way of the mathematical thinking, right? I mean, being able to uh, think abstractly, right? really helps people to explore other fields, right, besides mathematics or something which is related to mathematics. So, in my opinion, uh, you know, there is a big pool of jobs which can be provided, right, for those people who actually have this uh, degree in, in, you know, in mathematics. So, once again, I, I think that the focus here, right, should be on the students who are applying this year, right, and some of them actually coming from the, like, presidential schools or special schools, right, and I want to tell uh, to those people, and I know, I know many of them actually applied to the foreign universities, right? And uh, uh, foreign universities, US, China, Europe, right? And some of them actually probably got offers, right? So my experience, right, actually, my personal experience is that I know that uh, some of the offers can be actually pretty uh, nice, right? In a sense, they, they get a full grant or full fellowships. And in this case, I would actually encourage students, right, to think about going there, right? right? But in many cases, grants are usually very limited, right? And uh, they have to cover a big chunk of this uh, uh, tuition and uh, lodging and everything, right? So, so basically, it's a kind of burden, right, for their parents and for, for the family in general, right? And so I would advise in this case, right, for the uh, students, right, for these this coming new students and their parents is that try to sort of, you know, also uh, explore this side, right, New Uzbekistan. Because I believe the program we are creating here will be as good as in the top US or European universities. In a sense that it's, it's, also, it's also actually pretty comfortable, right, to be here in this environment, right, which is, you know, you, you don't change much, right? You don't have to adjust to the life, right? When you go to the foreign country, you have to not only sort of uh, uh, do a lot of work, right, in terms of uh, uh, learning things, that, but you have to also adjust in their life, right? Which means it's actually a lot of energy goes to this, to this part, right? While here, right, you don't have to adjust, you just will be completely focused on your studies and you can be a really successful student here. And in general, right, I, I, I believe that once they graduate, right, once they get a bachelor degree here, right, they will be very successful students, right, graduate students in, in the top U.S. universities in the future. I should say that uh, students also will be involved in the research programs, right, with the professors here. Uh, so several years ago, uh, in the uh, Institute of Mathematics, we had a research uh, for undergraduate program, which was sponsored by NSF, National Science Foundation. Uh, so under this program, students from U.S., the, uh, from the top U.S. universities, were coming here and studying and conducting the research. So similar thing we want to carry out here in Uzbekistan universities. And the faculty which we're hiring right now, that are capable of uh, organizing and conducting such type of things. First of all, I want to uh, sort of, uh, so I'm encouraging students to apply and, uh, you know, see this opportunity, right? Because it's, uh, you know, uh, it's great to go to abroad, right? But I think, uh, you know, uh, the, if, you, if you apply to university abroad, right? It should be, uh, you know, if you accept, you know, if you accept it in a top US university, right? And getting a full grant, then definitely you should go there. But if you feel that the, uh, the university which you, you're going, right? You're applying, right? Is not a sort of a top-notch university, right? I would, I would recommend try New Uzbekistan University because the, the experts here will be as good as in the top U.S. universities, right? And the education you will get here will be similar, right? So I would really encourage students to apply and see uh, this, this opportunity.